Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Dead Man Logan, issue number 6 of 12. Blood's getting lower, man. In fact, it's halfway down. I wonder. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this was actually a really good issue. I don't think this has to be a particularly long uh, review. It just, it is what it is. But first, let's get into who actually made this. This is Goodbye, an interlude. Uh, Ed Brisson is the writer. Mike Henderson is the artist. Nolan Woodard, Woodard is the color artist and VCs Corey Petit on letters. Declan Shalvey is the color artist and Anthony Gambino did the graphic design. So basically Wolverine's going to go and say goodbye to a couple of people. Captain America Steve Rogers, Mariko Yashida, and Wolverine proper. Along with the rest of the X-Men that he's been seeing in this uh, uh, miniseries. Well, excuse me, this 12-issue this limited series so far. I liked this. I really did, uh, especially the part with Captain America. Even though it was in the beginning and it seemed so just, you know, whatevs, it was really cool being able to see him talk about his respect for Captain America and how much he knows, or at least believes, that Captain America respects him. And you can really see it in the way that Steve Rogers reacts to Wolverine. This is not the first time that Wolverine tried to kill him. <laughs> I mean, let's just, you know, let's just face facts, all right? But Cap can hold his own, and aside from Captain America Annual Number 8, he's typically believed in Wolverine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, geez, he forgave him for that, so he can forgive him for pretty much anything. And he does. And I like that we had this conversation. I really genuinely do, especially since there's so many times in comic books that, you know, Captain America seems like the greatest hero of all, but then you read an X-Men comic book and it's like, oh no, he's the worst person of all. It's like, dude, that's just... I kind of get it, but come on, man, not like that. <laughs> so um, the Wolverine and Old Man Logan uh, crossover here, the meeting here, it went about like I would expect it to go. It was short. It was kind of cool. There was nothing necessarily sweet about it. And there was a couple of little quips and a lot of humor. And I appreciate that, especially the whole best there is of what he does and the whole yeah, that does kind of sound stalkerish, <laughs> which Mariyuku Yoshida had to put him straight on in the first place. I really did like that. All of this, this was really good. And this did feel like an interlude. That is what it is. The action is going to start up again next uh, issue. I'll show you what the next uh, cover looks like. Bang, 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 bang. Here we go. So this is what the next cover looks like because Wolverine does, in fact, get back to the Wasteland. And uh, can he go back? Hmm, read the comic book to understand. But um, here's one of the things I actually liked also. In memory of Thor, the idea that Mjolnir is being worshipped by the people. That, see, I love these, these backstories. That's the kind of story I enjoy reading. This little backup, just it doesn't mean anything, does it? Or will it? It might. Some of, those some of these things might actually come back to, to bite somebody in the final issue or so. But... Either way, I really enjoy the way this this comic book was put together. The art is just perfect for what this is. It didn't have to be anything great. There was a big fight scene here that didn't really go anywhere, and it didn't have to. It was literally just, this is the best way for Logan and Old Man Logan to bond. To get that one time of, I got to meet you. And this isn't necessarily going to be Old Man Logan's future. For crying out loud, Days of Future Past could be his future. Age of Ultron could be his future. There are so many alternate futures out there that, you know, and, and it could be one that's completely different from everything that we've already read before. You know, so I'm not too worried about that. This book, though, this was great. This did feel like a one-shot. It kind of was. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.